As a leftist, it can get a bit annoying when I'm trying to discuss leftism with someone who has incorrect definitions of whatever I'm discussing or advocating for. In this video, I'm going to give an explanation of the three economic systems and the different ways people define them. When talking about socialism or communism, the common misconception held by most people is that they are suboptimal compared to capitalism because you don't have the same economic freedoms. When a layperson defines the three economic systems, they see it as the following. Capitalism is optimal because it utilizes the free market, giving people the most freedom under it and making capitalism the best economic system. As for socialism and communism, they usually argue that under such systems, the state takes over industries and gives the individual less freedom because the state is enroaching on the free market, making such systems suboptimal. Notice how the average person equates economic freedom to individual freedom. I'll get to that point in a moment, but before I do that, we need to talk about the political spectrum. You see, these incorrect definitions of the three economic systems try to relate state power to the economic scale, when in reality, they are two completely different axes. Certain economic systems will have their own tendencies towards statism or anarchism, and I'll get to that point later in the video. As for the left, their definitions of the three economic systems are as follows. Capitalism is the private ownership of the means of production, socialism is when workers own the means of production, and communism is when workers own the means of production, and when resources are entirely distributed based on need, in turn, there is no need for a market economy under such a system. Notice how none of these definitions talk about the state. This is to keep the state separate from economic definitions to keep them more accurate. A leftist and a layperson's main point of argument between these definitions is the state and freedom. While your average person conflates more communal economies with statism, the left argues the opposite, saying that communal economies have a tendency to limit or abolish the state entirely to better distribute resources based on need. This is to keep the state from interfering in the process. The argument then boils down to economic freedom. Your average person would argue that communal economies take away economic freedom because in communist countries like China or North Korea, only a small amount of people have wealth while the rest are peasants. Remember how I was talking about the means of production? The means of production is defined as the facilities and resources for producing goods, and this is a crucial thing to know when talking about communist countries. You see, leftists would argue that countries like China and North Korea aren't communist at all. Instead, they're a more authoritarian version of capitalism called state capitalism, because the small amount of people who own most of the wealth in the country act as a de facto capitalist class, only under a different, more misleading name. They aren't allowing their workers or peasants to own their means of production and as such aren't communist or socialist economies at all. In the eyes of a leftist, economic freedom comes from one's ability to own their means of production, for instance, their workplace. This ownership gives them much more control over their work life, which reduces stress and eliminates the need for a ruling capitalist class in the form of CEOs and the like. This also allows the individual to keep all of their labor value, which in turn gives them more economic freedom. So this leaves one last question. What economy do leftists think Western countries like the US participate in? Well, instead of state capitalism, leftists believe that they practice neoliberal capitalism, which is a less extreme form of capitalism. In neoliberal capitalism, the common belief is that capitalism can be fixed with social programs that implement a hybrid economy. The New Deal, or more recently, the Green New Deal, are examples of such policies. This kind of capitalism is problematic to leftists because they believe that fixing capitalism is a lost cause, that capitalism, like it has done many times in the past, reverts back to exploiting the working class even if policies and new deals are implemented. To recap, average people think economic systems are varying degrees of the state having their hand in the market, while leftists believe they are varying ways of distributing resources and the ownership of the means of production. Leftists find that communist countries like China and North Korea are actually more extreme versions of capitalism and that Western countries are practicing a form of capitalism that regresses over time leading to a loop which creates an endless requirement for government financial policies like New Deals. 